24 hours a day, seven days a week. The All-American Dust-Off Medevac of the 82nd Airborne Division stands ready to collect and stabilize casualties from all over eastern Afghanistan. They never know when the call for medevac is going to come, but when it does, they must be ready. So they train constantly. We train so hard because we want to be able to do it right the first time when we get a nine line and urgent. We want to put the aircraft safely on the ground. We don't want to change the ground commander's uh, mission from one of his soldiers being wounded to a downed aircraft scenario. Today's mission focuses on the hazards they run into during daytime flights, such as turbulence and birds. That may seem minor, but the All-American Dust-Off runs the most medevac missions in Afghanistan. Bagram probably has the most missions out of anybody because all the other team sites, um, we pick up what they pick up. So every time each one flies, we're flying too. Chief Cornelius spent two tours in Iraq as an infantry soldier with the 82nd Airborne Division's Red Devils. Staff Sergeant Rubenstein served in Iraq as an infantry medic. This has given them both first-hand insight into how important their job is and also given the two of them a special bond. Mr. Cornelius is prior infantry. I was with infantry. We relate very well. We have a very close mindset. They both recognize the American coalition and Afghan troops on the ground feel safer knowing they have friends in the air. And that is why they train every day that they aren't on call for missions. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Daniel Sullivan.